today on Intentional Talk or an overly talkative guest. Damn, man. Unbelievable. Hey, I picked you in the home run derby. What a player. You were my pick. I live for this. For you, Intentional Talk. Back on Intentional Talk, presented to you by MasterCard with Rose and Millar. And, Kevin, it's time to check in with a member of one of your old teams, the Chicago Cubs, as we are joined by a video chat by Cubs first baseman Brian LaHare. Brian, how are you? Doing good. How's everybody doing? Uh, we're doing great. Now, uh, first of all, congratulations. You are the first international guest on Intentional Talk. Because Where are you right now? <laughs> Right now, I'm in uh, Maracaibo, Venezuela. And what are you doing? I'm playing uh, baseball. I'm sitting in the lobby right now, uh, ready to head to the field and play a game. Away go. Nice, brother. Now, listen, Big Z, Carlos Zambrano's down there, and I heard now you uh, hit a show homer off Carlos there in the winter ball. Tell us about <laughs> taking Big Z deep. Well, uh, he, he was the first pitcher down here that threw me 11 straight fastballs. And, uh, you know, I, uh, his, my first at bat, he got me, and then uh, I got three and one again. He threw another one, and uh, I ran into it, so I got him. Nice. All right, so as you're circling the bases, is he yelling at you, or what did he say to you? <laughs> well, well, usually at uh, home plate, the first thing he did was look at me when I took off, make sure I didn't pimp it. Um, but then uh, usually when I get to home plate, we have a little bat boy that's butt up to my knees, so I go low and uh, give him a high five, and he wanted to do it. And I said, no, nah, that's all right. I got to face him again. So I go ahead and uh, stood up and gave him high five up top. <laughs> well, maybe he threw yeah. you a little bit of a cookie because it was your uh, it was your birthday recently. You celebrated it down in Venezuela. We actually have a picture of the birthday cake. Uh, I got to tell you, this is pretty pro, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it is. laughs> this team this team's doing a great job, man. Uh, you know, uh, originally uh, I was I was gonna stop playing on the 14th, and uh, they they got really they got a lot of good team chemistry down here, and uh, I was excited to come back. They this this team's pretty good. Now now let me ask you a question. You played a little basketball, and your coach was J.P. Ricciardi back in Massachusetts. Now I want to know was he a tough basketball coach, and how was J.P. coaching basketball? I think he stopped growing, you know, in eighth grade. Yeah, well I'll tell you uh, every time. Uh, we, we heard the whistle blown. We, we knew we, we had to get to the line, and uh, he pretty much ran us into the ground. And, uh, you know, we, we were a really good competitive team. Our, our center was seven foot six, so that helped. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. You had a seven foot center? <laughs> six. Yeah, seven foot seven. I think he's the tallest man in the world right now. Uh, wow. <laughs> how, are you, how do you get a kid in high school that's seven foot six? Yeah, you, you have J.P. Ricciardi as your, as your uh, head basketball coach, and uh, you get calls from England. <laughs> well, now, you and I spent a little time together in 2010 spring training with the Chicago Cubs. Be honest, how was I as a role model? Oh, man, I tell you what, I had a great time with you, man. I, I enjoyed coming to the park and uh, listening to you all day because, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a great time. I, I enjoyed myself with you, man. It was great. All right, well, Brian, be honest. You know, Kevin's kind of a chatty guy when he plays first base over there. Do you like to chat it up with guys, or do you let them just kind of focus on their business? Because Millar's idea was to pretty much distract them the whole time. Yeah, I, I, I like to do that. You know, I, I have a tendency to talk to the guys, and, uh, you know, hopefully maybe we can get them picked off or something like that, and sometimes they, uh, they stop paying attention. Uh, but, yeah, I like to have fun over there when I can. All right, well, Brian, thank you very much for taking some time during the offseason. Happy holidays to you and your family. Continued success, and hopefully we'll catch up with you during spring training, okay? Hey, sounds great. Thanks for having me, guys. Go deep. All right, well.